You embrace your charge too willingly. I think this is your daughter. Her mother did many times tell me so. <laughs> Were you in doubt, sir, that you asked her? Signor Benedict, no. Truly, the lady fathers herself. Be happy, lady, for you are like an honourable father. If Signor Leonardo be her father, she would not have his head on her shoulders for all the county as like him as she is. I wonder that you will still be talking, Signor Benedict. Nobody marks you. What, my dear lady, disdain? Are you yet living? <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible disdain should die while she hath such meat food to feed it as Signor Benedict? Courtesy itself must convert to disdain if you come in her presence. Well, then it's courtesy a turncoat, but it is certain. I am loved of all ladies, only you excepted, and I would I could find in my heart that I had not a hard heart, for truly I love none. A dear happiness to women. They would else have been troubled with a pernicious suitor. I thank God and my cold blood. I am of your humour for that. I'd rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me. God keep your ladyship still in that mind, save some gentleman or other shall scape a predestinate scratched face. <coughs> Scratching could not make it worse than to such a face as yours were. Ooh, well, you are a rare parrot, teacher. A bird of my tongue is better than a beast of yours. Oh, would my horse have the speed of your tongue, and so good a continuer, but keep your way. <laughs> a God's name, I've done. You always end with a jade's trick. I know you of old. 